Hello everyone and welcome to Plesio's Flower Channel. Today, as mentioned on the title, uh, we're going to create a heart-shaped box. Our heart-shaped boxes are, as are all of our other boxes, uh, handmade velvet. They are velvet inside and out, quite luxurious. And uh, sustainability is a big thing with us in our company. So when the flowers do die, you can throw away uh, the oasis, you can clean the inside of the box, and this will be a keepsake which uh, your receiver can use, uh, you know, putting their jewelry in, putting whatever they want in it, and it will always remind them of you. So let's get started. Inside of our velvet boxes, we have put a wet oasis foam. We've protected it with cellophane so that the box doesn't get damaged. Therefore, they can use it later. Let me cut through, uh, cut around the cellophane. Uh, be mindful of your hands, but don't worry that it's not cut perfectly. You're never going to see uh, the mechanics and the cellophane after uh, the roses are placed in. We're going to start with our red roses. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous tall roses. It would be a shame to cut them, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we will remove always the outer petals and you should always blow on your roses. Delicately, of course. So, roses um, that are of this size and this strength uh, are usually because the stem is very long. Uh, the shorter your roses when you purchase them, the softer the head is. So we always invest in tall, tall uh, roses, minimum 60 centimeters. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a shame to cut them, but that's what gives us the strong and big head. And we start from the front. Always clean the outer petals of your roses. These outer petals, I'm sure if you've watched... Uh, Hello, Chai. We have our own in-house inspector. <laughs> Hello, mommy. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, mama. Uh, the outer petal of your roses, uh, please always remove them. The grower leaves them on to protect the rose uh, because, you know, they travel in big boxes sitting on top of each other, uh, sometimes for a few days. So these outer petals protect them um, until you get them in your hands. Uh, even if you buy uh, your roses from a grocery store, you'll see that they come in already a cellophane uh, wrapping. Uh, once you open the cellophane, you will see that there is a whole bunch of damaged uh, petals. Uh, don't worry, it doesn't mean that the rose is bad. It's just that uh, the grocery stores don't take the time to remove the outer petals. That's kind of uh, your job to do when you get them home. Uh, we remove, obviously, the outer petals. We take the time to do that for our customers. Uh, but yes, don't think that the rose is bad. Uh, they're absolutely stunning roses. They are very, very strong, uh, very beautiful, lots of petals. Uh, you can see how strong the stem is. Another indication of the quality of your rose when you buy them, if they have very thin stems, uh, they're not gonna last you long. If they have thick, strong stems, uh, that's a, a sign of a good, strong rose. Always cut on an angle. Uh, when placing your roses in, a, in, a, in an oasis foam, uh, don't push them from the head. Always push it from the stem. You don't want to damage the head of your rose. I've seen a lot of people take the rose from the head and it just uh, it makes me cringe. So use your, your stem and push it down from the stem, not like this. That hurts the petal. 
if you need to, if the stem is fully in and you still need to touch the rose, always touch its neck, okay? Not the top, just the neck because that's the strongest part and it won't damage the rose. These are really beautiful roses. I'm very pleased uh, with the quality of the rose. So you see that I'm holding the neck. Best is to hold the stem up to a point and then I hold the neck to push it down. Yeah? If you need to turn it, do the same thing. Push the neck. Okay, beautiful, beautiful roses. I really love reading your comments. Uh, I love reading your um, your enjoyment and uh, your encouragement for us to keep making these videos. So please don't hesitate to write. Uh, I love reading them. It makes my day that I have added a little bit of value to your day by um, watching something pretty. I hope that's what we're doing. Okay, I think I need about two more roses. And then we're done. Again, touching the neck to push it in, yeah? And then the last one I need to put here. There's not that much room, so I need a small head. And voila, there's a nice and small head. They're such good quality, honestly, sometimes I don't even need to take the outer petals. And now, once you're done, then you can stand back and take a look and see if they are, the height is good for all of them. I'm gonna go back and look. Yeah, this looks really nice. If you've noticed, I've left a little bit of an opening here, and that's for the orchid bloom that I'm gonna put in. Uh, this is an orchid bloom, which I, have, I am using an extender because it doesn't have much of a stem. This way, the orchid bloom drinks water. I don't have to worry about its stem not reaching uh, the foam. And uh, I'm going to put it right there. So beautiful. Now, this is not quite done yet. I'm going to add, uh, I don't like seeing emptiness here, so we add moss uh, to cover that area. It also makes it more natural. It looks as if the roses uh, are sitting uh, in, a, in a bed of grass. Those finishing touches are really important. It kind of sets you uh, apart from uh, buying something from the supermarket. No disrespect to supermarkets, but you should expect your florist uh, to pay attention to these small details. They're the professionals and you should have uh, professional expectations from them. But I'm going to spray uh, my roses and my orchid bloom a little bit to hydrate them. And then of course, don't forget the roses underneath your orchid. They all need hydrations. They are uh, of course sitting in foam but uh, it's always nice to spray them and the last finishing touch is our signature ribbon which we always add to all of our arrangements to give it that finishing touch voila and here's your beautiful rose box with an orchid petal and this one is going to go out to a lucky receiver who's going to get a beautiful birthday cake along with it and some balloon bouquets uh, all sent in a beautiful packaging from us and i hope she enjoys it thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this segment please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel it encourages us to do more and uh, please leave comments. I love reading your comments. Thank you again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.